Tis the season for giving and returning those gifts, but dealing with unwanted, used, damaged goods, very costly for retailers. Courtney Reagan is in Mount Juliet, Tennessee, where one company is looking to corner the market on returned goods. Americans returned $260 billion in merchandise to retailers last year, or 8% of total purchases, even higher around the holiday season. According to Gartner Research, less than half is resold, leaving retailers booking big losses, in some cases as much as 10% of total sales. Unwanted and damaged goods either get tossed out or sent through a lengthy chain of liquidators and wholesalers paying pennies on the dollar to the retailer before eventually selling them to bargain hunting consumers. Add in the surge of online shopping and the problem gets even bigger. Return rates from online sales can be 30% or more. And that has research from Gartner warning retailers the old way of dealing with returns is a ticking time bomb. Retailers are not very good at managing returns right now. And so unless they invest in their ability to manage returns, the volume of returns coming back will cause problems in their overall supply chain. Best Buy is one retailer that's working on ways to recoup losses associated with returned goods, adding open box merchandise to its store and web inventory, increasing the chances of selling those items at a discount while decreasing losses. But now there's a new option for retailers. Optoro is one company working to disrupt the traditional model for dealing with returns. The company claims its technology finds the best resale price across marketplaces for retailers the moment the return is scanned at the store. Currently many retailers are getting 15 cents to 30 cents on the dollar for these returns because it, they're having such trouble uh, economically processing them and getting them to the next best markets. Um, we're able to get them to double and triple the recovery. After merchandise is returned to a retailer, it ends up here at Optoro's warehouse in Tennessee. The bulk of the items are electronics, but there's also health and wellness, home and garden, baby items, and of course, clothing. The goods are tested and inspected, and once they're given a clean bill of health, they're ready for resale on Optoro's retail site Blink.com, Amazon, and eBay. Home Depot, BJ's Wholesale, Jet.com, and 17 other top 20 U.S. retailers and manufacturers use Optoro's technology. It can be a win-win-win. Retailers recoup more on returned goods, waste is reduced, and consumers get another discount shopping option. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Courtney Reagan in Mount Juliet, Tennessee.